Hi guys, good morning, happy Saturday, blessings to you. This video is all about voiceover. One face centered. Oh, as usual. Speech off. There it is. Um, so by now, you have been watching my videos, you're still watching my videos, um, and you're hearing this background of a voice, um, and it's saying things like face centered. Um, you know, it's saying stop recording, start recording, um, screen sharing. It's saying a lot of things. The reason why you hear that is because I'm using a feature that is on all of the Apple devices called voiceover. So if you have an iPhone right now, or you're on an iPad, you can um, tap the screen with three fingers and you can um, turn on speech enabled. Now, I don't know what phone you're using, but if you have the iPhone XR and above, so the XR, the 11, 11 Pro to the 12 Pro, and the 12 the 12 pro all of that 12 pro max then you can use the right button on the right side of the screen the upper top right and you can click it three times really quickly and voiceover will come on and you can click it three times again and voiceover will come off for you um and so when you Enable voiceover, which you can also go through your settings and then you can go to general and then you can go to the accessibility option and then you can click on voiceover from there as well. Um, if you have older iPhones, excuse me, sorry guys, it's late, it's early. Okay. Um, if you have an older iPhone or you have the SE Sam Edward models that still have the home button, you can double click the home button and that will turn on voiceover as well. You do have to have internet um, connection in order to use uh, Siri to turn on voiceover for you. So that means that if you wanted to um, say, hey Siri, turn on voiceover or hey Siri turn off voiceover um, she can do that you could also press the home key or hold the right key once until the little sounder comes off and then you could verbalize the same command turn on voiceover turn off voiceover so there's several ways to enable voiceover once you have enabled voiceover if you're wanting to do this with me, you could then begin to touch all over the screen and it will tell you what time it is, what's today's date, um, what the day of the week is. It will also go down your notifications list if you have it where it appears on your um, home screen. Um, it will, when you open up your phone, then you go to the phone app or the Safari app or the messages app. It will literally um, give you the option you have to select by putting your finger on the one. And once you get to what you want, if you want the phone app, you click one time. It'll say phone. And then you double click. It's a quick double click that you do to open up the phone app. And then from there, you can literally go down from one to the next to the next and it'll read and it'll tell you pizza hut and then you can and it'll tell you what time and what day you called and if you want more information oh this is a sleepy video guys if you want more information then you will wand down quickly like a quarter of an inch over the contact and it'll give you delete as a first option and more as a second option. So you'll swipe once, you get to delete, swipe the second time, you get to more, you double click that option, and then it gives you more details about your contact. It'll tell you how long you were on the phone with this person. It'll give you options to hide alerts. 
to block this person to create a contact and add to an existing contact all those wonderful features um so voice over acts as a visual aid to those who have visual impairment um, it provides accessibility and when i say something like it's providing accessibility that means that it is giving non-visual users access or the ability to utilize a tool that would not be available without the verbalization the visual assistance of the software okay um so voiceover um has been a part of apple um since the beginning um, and it has gone through very various updates and upgrades and expansions as they've learned um you know over time from feedback and interacting with their non-visual users there's an entire website and it's appleviz a p p l e v i s dot com as in vision um, that gives you a plethora a wealth of information that will guide you on the best strategies when interacting with voiceover and um, whatever software it'll tell you the best setting wow wow that's like the third yawn you all and i'm so sorry it'll tell you the best settings in which to um go forward with you know using that particular software so that you can have the greater accessibility um and it as limited as little limitations as possible okay um so that's definitely a great tool to use it also has a, a ton of feedback from other users on what worked for them um what didn't work so you don't have to waste time and you can avoid a lot of derailing um and disappointment so um, voiceover assists me in recording myself because it locates where i am in the screen it also gives me the time the duration of how long my videos are um, it also gives me background information um, and so that really helps me make these videos and um, it gives me a lot of independence so that i don't have to wait on um, a team to help me get these done and when i'm ready to film i can just pick up my device activate voiceover enable voiceover and get started so um that is a basic rundown of voiceover initially i was thinking that i was going to demonstrate on my personal devices to you all how voiceover works and as a matter of fact i am i'm still going to do it just because um i have this other device that currently a uh, youtube video is on and let me see something so right now i i did the whole three tapping on the screen here i don't know if you guys can see me do this or not but i'm just gonna turn up the volume so right there it just said the ad can now be skipped now that's pretty fast for people who don't use voiceover you can slow down the rate of speed by wanding down with one finger and it will give you the percentage of the rate of speed. If you wand up with your finger, then um, it will increase the speed naturally. Now it says add can now be skipped. If I touch the middle of this screen, it says pause. It says skip add. If I double tap there, it skipped the um, ad and it put me on the button to play the next video. So I'm going to go on and play the next video. Now here also, what you can do is, it's telling me autoplay is on. 
um, just by wanding down here. So it's telling me that there's 49,000 comments on this video here. And then it's telling, it's giving me the first person's um, comment. Another thing, if I, if I put three fingers on the screen and, and push upwards, it actually gives me a list of the subsequent videos available. So then I can touch the screen and it tells me the commercial here, which is the Chime ad app. So here's one for one hour and 33 minutes, how to start a YouTube channel in 2021. Okay. Oh, one hour, three minutes, 57 seconds. And then it tells me how many people have watched this video, which was 186,000 people. And it tells me how long ago the video um, came out, which was four months. And I can keep wanding to the, which I say wanding, swiping my finger to the right, and it'll continue to go down the list of available um, videos. And if I want to select the video, I just place my finger on there, it acknowledges it, two hour and five minute video, and I double tap and bow, it loads. So these are a couple of the features of voiceover. Um, when it comes to let's let's go to the internet so um right now i've touched on my screen at the bottom um to safari and i've double tapped safari right now so now it's opening the screen here i wonder can you guys even see the screen because i think i have so another thing oh yeah i'm sorry you guys the whole time i've been showing you guys my screen and nothing's been there because um i had the the screen curtain on now i use the screen curtain quite a bit let me see so i don't even know what this website is but i keep my screen curtain on because it helps protect my information when whomever's around whatever i'm doing it doesn't have to be everybody's business and also because the light is so bright even with visual impairment, it causes eye fatigue for me and um, eye sensitivities. So because I'm in front of devices so much, I minimize my exposure to radiation and I also conserve my battery life when I put the screen curtain on because it, voice, it doesn't affect voiceover at all. It will continue to read everything to me. So anyway... I just wanted to show you all that when I get on Safari, if I want the screen to read to me, I use two fingers and I swipe down. So now it's proceeding to go down this down the page. It's telling me what are links. It's telling me what are buttons. And it's telling me about the articles available um, on this particular website here. So I wanted to show you guys that, but I did want to sh show you all. Now let me just open YouTube. I can literally just tell it to open an app and skip all the searching and See, now it's saying how to make a YouTube video from start to finish, and it's one, over 1 million views here. Now, I was attempting to show you all, once, once I just tap around on the screen, right, it's literally, I can tap play here. I hope you can see me tapping play, and then I just double tap because I've selected it. So once I get to whatever option I want right now, I'm on forward 10 seconds, and then I just double tap bow, it just skipped 10 seconds ahead for me. So there's just a lots of different benefits um, to using voiceover for persons with low vision um, or um, no vision, right? Or everything in between, and they just need visual assistance um they need something to fill in the blanks they need something that will um 
give them the greater accessibility so that they don't have to distinguish or strain or just walk away from something you know a lot of times people will give up things that they truly enjoy like reading like interacting like evolving with the times because it's too much to do it it's taking up too much energy too much time um they're they're encountering too many roadblocks so it just discourages and deters them from you know exploring that option or even trying so i really love voiceover um it's absolutely wonderful before voiceover we would have to purchase software so you'd buy your phone and then you'd purchase software to be installed on the phone to be used um, for persons with visual uh, impairment and it was very expensive um, and so even with that it wasn't anywhere as good as voiceover truly um, so voiceover is amazing and I am a person who was Android um, and I went uh, Apple came out, iPhones came out in 2007. I did not get an iPhone until 2014. I had no idea that um, VoiceOver was available for seven years. And once I got an iPhone, my whole life really changed. And you're talking to somebody who had gone back to college in 2004 as a visually impaired person using Androids, um, winging it. I would text by memory, just memorize the keyboard, memorize everything on my, and I would just text purely off of memory. Um, like, it was just so many different things. And I'm just like, wow, had I had voiceover, I could have been taking pictures like it would have just sped up a lot of processes that I went through in school and at work um, and it would have really helped me with not over utilizing my eyesight um, and really just um, advancing in my projects seamlessly really um, and then there's tech support that goes along with voiceover that can help you navigate and work through those kinks. So anyhow, um, I'm hoping that this video was helpful, informative, um, enlightening. I hope it kind of answered some of the questions that you've been wondering, like, what the heck is this voiceover, this voice in the background? Like every time, what is she talking about? Um, and so definitely like share comment subscribe leave your questions i want to answer them i want to get to know you um and you know i want us to grow you know that's, that's what it's all about i'm really enjoying um this journey of um youtube and building this channel and um just really reaching my goal which is to get 35 videos out to you all by sunday um this sunday may 2nd which is tomorrow um you know uh, i really enjoy having something or being a part of something that i really feel like is um is valuable and benefiting others in a very positive way and long lasting way so anyway um when you like and you share and you comment it really encourages me and um it just makes me feel like that i'm providing value and service um to people who who need me and we all need to feel needed and um feel like we're living the purpose-driven lives all right i will see you guys very soon as in the next video have a great weekend Speech on. Selfie zoom. Zoomed in. Button. Selfie zoom. Selfies. Stop recording.